recently, the Lord blessed me through New Life Farm to go out riding with Susie Hunt, Barbara Beck, and Courtney Shaw. That's some pretty high riding company. But have you ever heard of the Pony Express? Just before the Civil War, Alexander Majors contracted with two other men to set up the Pony Express mail system. Majors handpicked 80 young riders and built 100 stations with fresh horses all across the country. What once took news, money, and mail months to travel via stage from the east to the west coast was now guaranteed delivery in an incredible 10 days. Despite hurdles like war, robbery, weather, and sickness, for almost two years, these young men brimming with spirit, as Mark Twain wrote about them, each rode 240 miles a day, handing off their delivery to the next rider. If and when the next rider was unable to make the trip, it sometimes meant that that person had to ride an additional 240 miles to the next station in a 2,000-mile chain. Wow. I walked funny after my horse and I went looking for butterflies for an hour. Buffalo Bill Cody described Alexander Majors as a kind, devout Christian man who required each of his riders pledge not to use profanity or get drunk, gamble, nor be cruel to their animals. Sunday was the Lord's day. It was a day off. Good behavior was rewarded, and everyone seemed anxious to gain Alexander Majors' goodwill. I was really pleased to learn that in support of the American Bible Society, Alexander Majors ordered 300 embossed Pony Express Bibles. He personally presented each one of these to the young cowboys, Buffalo Bill Cody being one of the first. The Bible says that before we call, God will answer. He's faster than express mail. Despite all that he accomplished, Alexander Majors did not leave a huge fortune here on earth. In fact, the poor man died penniless. He did, however, work to store up treasures in heaven. He's in that great cloud of witnesses surrounding him. So let's run or ride with endurance this race that the Lord sets before us. It's an incredible ride. And don't forget to appreciate his butterflies and the scenery along the way.